Hi, I'm Todd Sones. Because I'm a very dedicated instructor, many people have asked me why I've taken the time to develop Couture Golf, which is a custom fit putter company. The reason why is really stems from being a dedicated instructor. I've had so many people come through my golf school, my short game school, in the last 10 years, and we take 10 people pretty much every Saturday. I'll tell you this, from that experience, I would tell you that seven out of 10 people usually show up with a putter that doesn't fit them. As an instructor, I'm at a disadvantage when someone shows up and they have the wrong tool in their hand. It's just like an eye doctor. If you went to an eye doctor and your glasses were the wrong specifications, he can't help you see clearly. So I'm at a true disadvantage of helping someone putt to their potential when they have the wrong putter in their hand. There's basically five elements to fitting a putter. There's the length of the putter, there's the swing weight of the putter, there's the loft of the putter, the lie angle, and of course the model of the putter. Let's talk about length first. If a putter's the correct length, you can get in the right posture and position your body in the correct place. And what that should be is this. When you putt, you want to tilt forward from your hip joint so that your eyes drop over the golf ball and your arms come to rest underneath, or your hands come to rest underneath your shoulders. From here, if you're balanced on the balls of your feet, you can stay still and make a good putting stroke. So the putter needs to fit a player based on that posture. If a player has a putter that's too long for them, this is a 35 inch putter that would be typically bought off the shelf. If a, putter has, a player has a putter that's too long for them, they're going to have to set up too tall, or if they bend, they're going to have to pull their hands up into their body. You see a lot of players that are putting like this where their hands are trapped, or they'd have to stand so far from the golf ball they can't get their eyes near it. All right, so a putter that's too long controls three things, usually too tall, trapped and too far from the golf ball. A putter that's too short, if I gripped way down on my putter, if this putter is too short for me, I'd bend over too far, stretch out my arms and my eyes would be past the golf ball. So remember this, the correct length allows you to bend properly, allows your eyes to come to rest over the golf ball, inside edge is what I always like to say, hands come to rest under my shoulders with a little bit of elbow flex kind of connected to my rib cage and I take my stance so I'm balanced on my feet. From there you can develop a good putting stroke. Some people that I've seen that show up with a putter that's too long you have to wonder why. The standard putter length in the industry is 35 inches. If you want an answer for why it's 35 inches, it's the golf bag. It fits perfectly into the golf bag. You can see from that example that putters aren't really sold to help players because they're not really sold to fit players. So we believe at Couture Golf is that a player ought to get in the right setup position and then have a putter that's made to accommodate the correct setup position so they can develop a good putting setup and good putting fundamentals. All right, so the first thing is how do you fit for length? The way to fit for length is this. Really the length of the putter is a diagonal line that connects the distance from where your hands come to rest to where your eyes hit the ground. That fills that space. If it's the right length, you can be in the right setup. If it's the wrong length, you simply can't. Now, here's how we fit for length. If you look at this chart right here, or this illustration, all you have to do is measure someone from the top of the left wrist crease, from this point straight down and this point straight over, A and B squared equals C. So that's the tri-fit method. The tri-fit tool is very simply a tool that I've invented where this arm goes up and down. This, is the ver this takes the vertical measurement, A squared, and then if you look at the tool, there's a mirror at the bottom of the tool that's marked in inches. So when I set up to this tool in the proper place, currently my setup would be 30 inches down and 11 inches over, so that's 30 inches down and 11 inches over. It seems complicated, but we just have a conversion chart which would tell us that if I follow the chart, I would come out to a 32 inch putter and that simply connects the dots. So now, once I've been measured to the proper length, I have a putter that's set up so that I can simply set up, make sure my elbows are resting on my rib cage, tilt, take my stance and balance and I'm in the proper place because the length of the putter accommodates it. So that's how we get to the right length of the putter. Now let's talk about swing weight. Swing weight is something that very few people understand. What it is, it's the weight of the golf club as it swings. Think about a pendulum. When a pendulum swings, the weight is creating the momentum. All right, so to have momentum, I have to have a weight. Now here's what happened. A lot of people don't understand that when you take a putter off the shelf and you cut it down, there's a fulcrum in which we measure putters or we measure swing weight 
that's about 14 inches past the grip. When you cut this end down, the weight is moving closer to the fulcrum, so it's going to feel much lighter. If you made it longer, it would feel much heavier. So if you just grab a putter or your putter and you cut it down or you make it longer, incrementally you're making it heavier or lighter, so you're going to lose feel of the swing weight. To have great distance control, we really encourage our students to develop what we call a signature tempo. That means your tempo is always the same. So what we do when we make couture putters is they're made in three different gram weights. 335, 350, and 365 grams. And when we make a shorter putter, we use the heavier weight. When we make a mid-length putter, we use the middle weight, 350 grams. When we make a longer putter, we use a 335 gram putter. Everything's solid milled construction, so now we have a putter that's made in the correct weight, in the correct length, so that you can de develop a consistent tempo. Okay, so now we have length and swing weight. I think those are the two most important things about fitting a putter. Now let's talk a little bit about lie angle. A putter should sit flush to the ground. It's easier to line up and it's easier for the ball to roll straight off the face. All right, now here's the thing that's interesting about lie angle. Lie angle is affected by length. And a lot of people will change the lie angle instead of changing the length. So before lie angle is changed or altered, you should make sure you have the right length. Here's what I mean by that. If I went back to this 35 inch putter, and I put it on the ground, and I got in the correct setup, the toe would go up in the air. So a lot of people would look at that and say, well, this putter's too upright. I would look at it and say the putter's too long, because if I change the lie angle, you can see that the putter starts to sit flush on the ground. If I take my putter, which is actually the same exact lie angle as this putter, it sits perfectly on the ground, so it's not, in effect, too upright. It was too long. So what we have found in all of our fittings is that once someone's in the right posture with the correct length putter, it's very rare that we actually have to change the lie angle of the putter. But I will say this, if you're in the right posture and your putter's the correct length and the toe or the heel is up or down, then you should adjust the lie angle because it does make a difference. All right, so we've talked about the length of the putter. It affects your posture and the distance you stand from the ball. We've talked about the gram weight of the putter. It's very important for your speed control because it affects your tempo. When a putter's too heavy, you'll force it. When it's too light, you won't feel it. If it's just right, you can develop a consistent tempo. We've talked about the lie angle. Now let's talk about loft. As far as loft is concerned, studies have shown that tour players want to impact the golf ball with about two degrees of loft when they're playing greens that roll at a faster speed, say in the 10 to 11, even 12 step meter range. Typical greens running at around nine to 10, we like to see about three degrees of loft. Now the reason why is because when a ball is struck with the face of a putter, it has to be lifted slightly because it's sitting down in its own little pitch mark, it's lifted slightly, then it can roll on top of the grass. That's pure roll. So we need a little bit of loft to lift and allow the ball to roll forward. Now, with too little loft, what happens is the ball rolls too quickly and it bounces, and too much loft it actually gets picked up and you have backspin. What we like is to see our students set up with a shaft just slightly forward, a little bit of forward press. We have three degrees of loft set on our putters, but they can be altered if need be. So with three degrees of loft, a little bit of forward press, if you maintain that position and impact, you're going to impart between two and three degrees of loft and put the correct roll on the golf ball. Players that have the putter shaft backward, it's too obvious for them to get too much cupping in their left wrist where they can hit the ball with too much loft, they'll pick the ball up. And players that have too much forward press, what would happen with too much forward press is the club would actually dig. And whenever you see someone with a lot of forward press, you'll also see them usually back up at the bottom and that's a little more complicated. Everything's got to be just right for you to hit good putts. It's simpler if you just set up with a little bit of forward press, maintain that position through impact so that you're consistent, you'll roll the ball better and more consistently. So there's loft. Now what about model? The model of a putter is really the most important thing is what you like to look at. There's a theory out there that you could find the right model to help you align to the golf ball better. I would tell you this. Everybody needs to line the face of the putter up. When I say the face, I mean the leading edge at right angles to their intended start line. So you need to focus and learn to focus on the leading edge of the putter. Make sure it's a right angle to your intended start line. If you learn to do that, your model choice really can be a preference of what you like to look at. I've seen tour players play with blades, play with high MOI, larger putters. I've seen them set up with one putter at one week and putt well and a different putter the next week, but they're always set up with the right length and the right weight, so there's a consistency there. So that's the key. Model choice is really your choice, what you like to look at, what's going to make your eye 
what's pleasing to your eye and what's going to make you comfortable so you make a positive putting stroke. So there's your five components, length, gram weight, lie angle, loft, and model choice. Those are the things that's important about getting custom fit to a putter that will really help you to play better. What we help hope at Couture Golf is that you have a putter, you get a putter that sets you up better so you can develop great putting fundamentals and become a better putter. So there are two ways you can get a Couture custom fit putter. One way is to go to our website and click on the button that says locate fitters. Once you hit that button you'll see in your state professionals that have gone through the certification process and they've been trained in teaching putting. So you're confident that you can get a good putting lesson and a putter that fits you based on what you've been taught. The other way that you can get a Couture custom fit putter is trusting our online fitting process. I've personally fit over a thousand people and kept all the calculations for that. Once you enter your height and your knuckles to ground when you're standing making a fist, if you enter your height and knuckles to ground, the system will lead you through the right length and then suggest the right swing weight or proper gram weight for that putter and you can even make alterations to what you'd like from there and then pick out your putter and basically buy it online. So that way you have two sources of getting a Couture fitted putter. Remember the fundamentals that I just taught you. If you put those things together with a Couture putter that's custom fit to you, you will start putting much better. Thank you for your time.